This video is for additional wiring only. Follow the V16 basic video manual before continuing. Instructions for the V16 autofill, V16 autofill flush, and the V16 DI saver controllers are included in this video. The additional wiring for the V16 autofill includes two yellow wires for the level switch and two grey wires for the filling solenoid. The V16 autofill flush has two additional white wires for the flush solenoid valve and the V16 DI saver has two additional pink wires for the DI saver solenoid valve 1 and two green wires for the DI saver solenoid valve 2. Extend all the wires by connecting the additional length of wires provided. Now attach the level switch to the end of the yellow wires and fit to the tank. The level switch will activate when the tank is full and will stop the fill. Next attach the solenoid valves as shown. Solenoid valves supplied by spring can be connected either way round. For all other solenoid valves, be sure to connect the wire with a red band to the positive side of the solenoid valve. Follow this system diagram when fitting the solenoid valves. The controller has two filling modes. The first is one time fill. The fill will stop when the level switch activates. The second is fill on demand. The tank will be refilled every time the water and the level switch drops. To select the required filling mode, turn the controller on, then press and hold the down and enter buttons. The fill on demand menu will be displayed. Press the up or down button to change between on and off. Off will set the controller to one time fill. On will set the controller to fill on demand. Press enter to set. If fill on demand is selected, the controller will display the fill delay setting. Fill delay is the time in minutes from the tank reaching full and filling restarting, should the water level drop. This delay can be set from 0 to 10 minutes using the up or down buttons. Setting to 0 turns this delay off. To exit the menu, press the enter button until the flow rate appears. To manually start filling the tank, press and hold the up and down buttons together. When filling, the display will flash FIL. The tank can be filled when the controller is on or off. To manually stop the fill, press and hold the up and down buttons again. The controller has three auto flush modes. The auto flush mode can be changed from within the menu. To access, press and hold both the down and enter buttons. Press enter until AFL is displayed. The first setting is off. This disables the auto flush. Next is 1. This will repeat the auto flush every hour. The first flush has a default of 300 seconds, or the time set by the distributor. Subsequent flushes are 40 seconds. The final setting is 2. The auto flush will be performed once at the start of every fill for 300 seconds, or the time set by the distributor. Use the up or down button to scroll between these options and press enter to set. The next setting is manual flush. This option can only be seen when the system is not filling. Setting the manual flush to on will flush the system for a predetermined time which has been set by the distributor. Changing this setting to off will stop the flush. Use the up or down button to select the required setting and press enter to set. When flushing, the display will flash FLU. The DI saver will perform a DI bypass during and after every flush excluding manual flushes. The auto flush settings determine the DI saver settings. Setting the auto flush to off will disable the DI bypass. If the auto flush is set to 1 or 2, the DI bypass will last for 120 seconds after each flush. When performing a DI bypass, the display will flash DIB. For all settings and controller messages, see Springs Auto Calibration Instructions and Digital Controller Messages videos. For the full V16 range and more information, visit www.springltd.co.